and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. I have a Facebook group called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond and I posted this card that I'd made in there and I've had a lot of people asking me how I did it. So I figure the easiest way is to show you. So I have used a technique called the alcohol lift technique and then I have um, stamped the um, paper with Lavinia stamps. So it's actually easy, it really is as, as it sounds. So I'll show you how I did this. Now I'm not going to be able to recreate the exact background because you can never do the same thing twice as you will see why. So let me show you how I have done this. So I'm going to be using the uh, Pinata um, alcohol inks. We're going to be using Senorita Magenta passion purple and sapphire blue so we're just going to pop some ink on the card so I'm just giving the bottle a little bit of a squeeze and just doing some splashes you don't want too much a little bit goes a long way with this and there's some purple So what I'm, I should have said is I'm using Upo paper, which is a synthetic paper. So it's non-porous and that's why the inks will move on it because it doesn't soak into the Upo paper. So I'll just pop some pink. And then I'm going to add some blending solution. So I'll just pop some of that on there. You can see it all moving. And then I'm going to use my handheld puffer just to move the colours around a bit. You don't have to move them. You could leave it just like it was before and let them move naturally. But I like to blend them in a little bit. Okay. And then for a bit more of an effect, what I will do is... I'm going to add some more blending solution, but I'm just going to add drops of it and it will just create circles. There we go. You can add as many or as little as you like or none at all. This is just a different effect again you can get using the blending solution on the inks. Okay. So then you would, once you've achieved what you want in the way of the um, ink spreading let it dry so you just put it aside and let it dry to do the next step so I'm just going to pop that aside and here's one that I did a little bit earlier that's already dried so as you can see it looks totally different to the other one let me just pop them together so you can see what I mean I've used the same colors the same technique but they are totally different so now this one should be dry enough. So the next step is I'm going to add an alcohol lift ink. So all I'm going to do is just run a strip of it along the top of the, the um, work. And using a brayer, I'm just gently going to spread that out over the card. Now, when you're using your brayer, don't put pressure on it because you want it to roll, not slide. So once you've spread all your alcohol lift ink out over your um, work, then you get a piece of, I'm using 300 GSM card. Pop that onto there and give it a good press. I'll flip it over. I'll we'll just give it a really good press that way as well. You will get very messy doing this. Okay. So then you peel off your card. And there you go, you're left with the impression of what was on here. Now, if you want to, 
um, you can then add more lift ink I'll just show you so we'll put some more on you can often get more than one lift off it but each time you do it it is lighter and lighter now the reason I'm doing the lift is it's very hard to be stamping on Yupo paper because it's non-porous when you stamp on it, it can take a long time to dry. So that's why I do the lift. And then you can just stamp as you normally would on normal card. So there you go. There's another one. So as I said, each time you lift, it will get lighter. So we'll just pop that aside. And I'll just put all the inks over here off my brayer and we'll get on with some stamping so for the stamping I'm going to use my stamp press and pop that in here and the stamps that I'm using for this one is May. These are all Lavinia stamps. These are all the new releases. So there's May, the Leaf Spray, and the Mini Leaf Creeper. So we'll start off with May. So I will be trimming this card down. So we'll just pop that where we want it. And for the stamping, I'm using Nocturne Versifying Clear. There we go. I use that for most of my stamping. I just It's a really good ink. It gives really nice, good, clear impressions. So ink it up well. And then stamp it. Make sure you allow enough time for the ink to soak into the card. Don't just push it and lift it. Give it a good push and a bit of soak time. There we go. So you can see a lot of the ink colours through the flowers. Now I'll just clean this stamp off. Okay, and now I'm going to use the leaf spray. So I'm going to use this one on a block. I think with the other one I used the um, leaf creeper. So that's a different stamp here to what I'm going to do on this one. So this one's the Leaf Creeper. But for this one, I'm going to do with this one, the Leaf Spray. And we'll just get a bit of scrap paper to go underneath. And again, using Versafine Clear Nocturne, I'm going to stamp, ink up the stamp. And we'll just pop these on the page. Do a few of these. So we'll do some more in between as well, give it a bit more coverage. So this is where you really you're stamping to the effect that you want and the amount of stamping that you want. So everyone's different. Some like less, some like more. Okay. 
And then we'll do a couple more. There we go. Now I'm going to use my little mini leaf creeper. Just to have some of these coming out of here. And I'm going to grab another stamp. So I'm also going to use a small lily flourish just to add some more onto here. So we'll do that first. So ink it up. We'll just add some more branches to the big one. Put one there. Another one down here. There we go. And then we'll go for this one. And I'm just going to pop some of these so it looks like it's coming out of the lily, the uh, lily flowers. Don't have to do these. This is just a choice thing. There we go. And we'll pop some of them through the foliage at the top as well. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this down a bit because I don't really want my card that big. So I'm going to trim it down to four inches. to add now is I've got some glitter gel pens and I'm just going to add some purple glitter gel pen to the flowers again this is a choice thing you don't have to do this but given the background it's on they sort of blend in a bit to the background with these colours Take a bit more time when you're doing them what I am. I'm just doing it quickly so we don't drag it out too long. And then I'm going to get some glitter. So I'm using... Oh, so this is a quickie glue pen. So it's just like a ballpoint pen with glue. I'll just get it running. We'll just pop some glitter on her wings. Unfortunately in the photos a lot of the glitter and the shimmer on cards doesn't show up. Okay so we'll just add some glitter. off the excess here 
we go. See that sparkling? It's very pretty. I like this glitter. And then I don't love anything that sparkles. And I might pop some just on the little creeper there. And some up through here. There we go. I'll just pop this away before I spill it everywhere. And that's it. So easy to do. So from there, you can um, then attach it to a um, mat card and then onto your base card. I'll just get some of this out of the way. Here we go. So with this one, I'll just bring it down a bit closer for you. So with this one, I've used a bit of purple uh, shimmer card as a matte card, and then I've put it onto a creamy coloured base card. So you could do the same with that. And just, yeah, very easy to do and lots of fun. But like I said, very messy <laughs> anyway that is to show you how i did this one i hope you've enjoyed it and um, please if you've liked it give me the thumbs up and feel free to come and join us on the um, facebook page card making for beginners and beyond or barossa valley crafts and you can share your creations with us there it doesn't have to be from my tutorials it can be anything you like we're not limited to brands so hopefully you've enjoyed it and thank you for joining me. Bye.